How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm gonna explain you once and for all what exactly is iCloud Drive. So if you have an iPhone, you have definitely seen iCloud Drive before, you have seen the icon, but maybe you don't know exactly what it is. So in this video, I'm gonna explain you exactly that and also how it works and how you can manage its storage. Considering that iCloud Drive takes up your iCloud storage and also your iPhone internal storage. It may seem confusing, but it's not, and I'm gonna explain you exactly everything you need to know. Let's get started. Okay guys, so first things first, I have to explain you what exactly iCloud Drive is. And it's super simple because it's a service, a feature inside iCloud that actually syncs and shares all your files between your devices. So if you have multiple devices signed into the same Apple ID, you'll be able to access everything because of iCloud Drive. But the part that gets pretty confusing is what files are those? What exactly are those files? And there are actually two different kinds of files and I'm gonna explain you right now. Number one, and most importantly, those are the files inside here, the files app. So everything that you have here in iCloud Drive, all those files here are exactly using the feature and are exactly synced up and sharing between all your devices. So if you come back here to the very first page of our files app on browse, you can see here iCloud Drive. So everything that's here, all those folders and files, are exactly using the iCloud Drive storage. So that's your first type of files. But as I said, there are actually two different types of files. In the second one, we can easily see if we come back here and reopen our settings on that exact same page, which I'm gonna show you how to get here. So as you probably saw already, settings, tap here on your name, right, in Apple ID, and then iCloud, and then right here, iCloud Drive, and you get to the page. And the second type of files are right here, apps syncing to iCloud Drive. So if you tap here, you can see that in my case, I've got seven different apps. So some of them are from Apple and some of them are third party. So what we're seeing here is some apps and it's just a few apps actually that have that permission, right? They're able to save, to store some files to iCloud via iCloud Drive. And as you can see right here, they are generally from Apple. So for example, Pages, which is the alternative to Word, right? And Numbers to Excel. So the files that I create on Pages, so my texts and so on, they'll be stored in iCloud Drive and I'll be able to get them on my iMac, for example. Same thing here for Numbers, for spreadsheets and so on. And we also have third-party apps like WhatsApp, for example, and the way WhatsApp uses iCloud Drive is to store their backups. So if you actually open up your WhatsApp app, go to settings, chats, and backup, and you backup the chats, they'll actually be stored in iCloud through iCloud Drive, right? So that's how it works. But then that's not actually the best way to back up your WhatsApp chats. So if you use WhatsApp, I do recommend that you check here this card and link in the description where I'm gonna send you to another video of mine where I teach you in detail how to actually back up everything on your WhatsApp or WhatsApp business the correct way, all right? So that's how it works. Those are the files. That's exactly why iCloud Drive actually exists and how it works. But of course, we have to talk about storage because that's super important. Let me explain you how to manage the storage on your iCloud Drive because they take up your iCloud storage, your iPhone storage, how that actually works. So if you go ahead and open up here the settings once again, come back this very first page right of iCloud Drive, we have here manage storage 26 gigabytes. So that's exactly everything that's actually on my iCloud Drive. So all my files and then all of my data within those apps, as I mentioned before, 26 gigabytes. And it's taking up my iCloud storage. Here we are on iCloud Drive, as you can see, right? If we come back and back and back once again, and scroll down and go to general and then iPhone storage, let it load and then search because it's not gonna be here on top. So if you actually search iCloud 
there we go, iCloud Drive, 35 megabytes. In my case, I have 26 gigabytes on iCloud, 35 megabytes in my iPhone storage. And that's how it should be on most people because this process right here is actually done automatically. Apple actually manages the storage automatically, putting most of your data in iCloud and just what's actually necessary that you're using right now on your iPhone, okay? That's how it should work. And you can manage that still, right? You can further manage that if you actually go ahead here and come back to the Files app, because as I mentioned, most of that storage is right here in your iCloud Drive. You can easily manage them by taking a look here at which of your folders or files actually have this icon right here the cloud icon. If you see the cloud icon, it means that those files are actually in iCloud. So they're in the cloud, I can open and access them, no problem, but they're actually in iCloud, right? And if there's no icon on the side, as you can see, all of them in my case are, but if there isn't, it's because they are in the iPhone internal storage. And you can actually manage that because all you have to do is tap and hold, and then download now. If you tap here, it'll download those files from iCloud directly to your iPhone storage, so then you can access them offline, right? And then when you're done, you can tap them again, and there will be a button called Remove Now. If you tap here, then it'll do the exact same. It'll upload back to iCloud, and then it'll not stay here anymore. So then that's how you actually manage those files, and you choose what you wanna keep in your iPhone and what you wanna keep in iCloud. So you can actually go backwards and forwards, download and remove, right? So that's pretty much all. But of course, there's one small detail still right here in iCloud Drive on my iPhone storage. I know many people are having trouble and big issues right here because of this. They're having tens, hundreds of gigabytes of iCloud Drive taking up storage in their iPhone local storage. So when they come back here to iPhone storage, they see like a huge bar right here just for iCloud Drive. And guys, that's actually a bug. It's affecting some people and it's just a bug. In order to fix that, it's super easy. You come back, right? You come all the way back here where we were before, tap here on your name, and then once again, you go here to iCloud and then iCloud Drive, as you can see, and you're just gonna turn this off and turn it back on. You're gonna turn off, sync this iPhone, and then turn it back on. And don't worry because you're not gonna lose any of your data. It's just gonna stop syncing for a few minutes and then you re-enable it and no problem. As you can see, I'm gonna disable it right now, turn off, and as you can see, no problem. And you see that my storage right here will stay the same, 26 gigabytes. So all of my files are there, no problem at all, okay? So after you, turn, you disable it, you actually go ahead here, turn off your iPhone, right, turn it off, and then turn it back on. Okay, so now that your iPhone is back, you go ahead here and re-enable iCloud Drive, so then you can go ahead and check if your storage problem is actually fixed, right? It should be fixed just by doing this. If it isn't, then unfortunately, you will actually need to restore your iPhone, to literally factory reset your iPhone, erase all of the data, and then of course, recover from a backup. It's a process, it's a tutorial, and I have here a separate video on the channel. I super recommend that you take a look at this card right here, link in the description where I show you step by step. Okay, and then after that, I guarantee you won't have problems with iCloud Drive, okay? So, that's it, that's literally it, that's everything I need to know about iCloud Drive, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one as usual, bye bye guys.